Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Janda, and please welcome to our Operation Freedom platform, WeThePeopleProcessing.com. You know, are, are you tired of being threatened to be canceled just because you have a company focused on liberty and freedom? Well, worry no more, folks. WeThePeopleProcessing.com is your go-to merchant services, freedom-based company to provide business service payment solutions. We The People Processing provides their clients a cancel culture free platform which is domestically based. They provide competitive rates, no contracts with next day funding, a fully vetted and like-minded financial infrastructure and full support for integrations, implementation and e-commerce efforts. Bottom line, WeThePeopleProcessing.com focuses on defending your company's free market growth, values, and future. Check them out at www.wethepeopleprocessing.com. Once you're on the site, enter in password Operation Freedom or call 855 499 2024. That's WeThePeopleProcessing.com. Then, when on the website, Enter Operation Freedom as your password or call 855-499-2024. Mr. President-elect, go ahead. Can you say categorically Mr. President-elect, can you give us a question? Don't be rude. Don't be rude. No, I'm not going to give you a question. I'm not going to give you a question. Can you say categorically? You are fake news. Sir. Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Janda. Welcome back to Dave versus the MSM. I'd like to thank you for joining me today and thank you for support of this platform. We have extra shows and extra content and extra analysis and extra guests available 24-7 at DaveJanda.com. The freedom beacon of light and truth is on for you 24-7. I can only go so far on this YouTube channel. And frankly, I don't think that's far enough. And that's why DaveJandaThat.com is there for you. We also have a Rumble channel by the name of Operation Freedom, but don't confuse it with the other channels that have taken our name, even though we have trademarked the name Operation Freedom and have since 2010. Uh, and Rumble's doing nothing about it. Uh, Rumble is not the clean platform everyone says it is. It might be for Bongino, who has a financial interest in it, but for those of us peons that aren't co-owners of Rumble. No, not so much. Which is why our individual platforms in the independent media are so important. Mine is DaveJanda.com. I hope you'll go there because we provide tremendous amount of information that will benefit you immediately. Today's topic is Know Your Enemy, the Totalitarians. Fauci, Collins, former head of the NIH, Gates, Soros, uh, Klaus Schwab, uh, Zuckerberg, uh, Big Media, Big Pharma, Big Tech, Obama, Romney, the Bushes, McConnell, Biden, Pelosi, Schumer, 99% of those in Washington, D.C. that hold elected office and their staffs are not political, okay? You, got, you, you have to come to that realization. This is not, they, none of these people that I just mentioned to you are not political. Oh, no, Fauci's political. No, he's not. He's a totalitarian thug. And there's a difference, right? Remember, when I first went to Washington in 1988 to work on healthcare policy, when Reagan was in office and worked with C. Everett Koop, the Surgeon General, at our orientation meeting of the couple of us that were brought in, we were told, look, do not develop policy for this country and for this administration, Reagan, that focuses on the right-left axis. That is all theater. It's meant to divide people. The axis and the only axis you should consider policy issues about and for are on the up-down axis, up being freedom and down being oppression. And there are people, we were told, in government and in industry 
that are focused on oppressing every American. And your role is to undermine that effort. And your role is to focus on the freedom side of the axis. Why do I bring that up? Because in this war for our freedom, we continually define our adversaries as, well, it's the left, it's the political folks. Now look, I'll do deference to Rush Limbaugh who did a great job with his platform. He kept focusing on the right left side of the equation, okay? And many of us for many years kept saying, no, it's the up-down axis. And we were told, including by Rush, that we were all conspiracy theorists to be talking about the New World Order crowd, the globalist syndicate, the, 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 the deep state, whatever you, whatever you want to call it. It's all the same because they all focus on oppression. We were, the totalitarian thugs, we were told, oh no, it's a right-left issue. Wrong. All that did was divide people when the focus should have been on the up-down axis, up being freedom and down being oppression. In order to win this war, you have to know your enemy and your adversary, and you have to be able to define them. And to define them as, oh, Fauci, he's political. No! He's a totalitarian thug. He works on the up-down axis. He doesn't give a rip about politics. He cares about totalitarians and globalists. Fact. And he wants to oppress everyone who is not a totalitarian or a globalist. And it's not just him. It's all the other people plus 99.9%. .9 and frankly, it's not just in, in the... Um, in Washington, D.C., it's in your state legislatures also. It's even at your local level in government. And it's also in industry, right? These same companies that were pushing, you know, uh, we have to be more, a critical race theory is so important. Like look at Coca-Cola, right? Oh, we're going to, we're going to have a particular type of program. Uh, Dr. Carlin Borshenko outlined that on our platform. But yet... If you watch the what's happening in China with their, what some people call the genocide games, who's one of the sponsors? If they're so into critical race theory, what are they doing sponsoring that? An Operation Freedom, I've been speaking about inflation, supply chain issues, and voting with your hard-earned dollars and how to make a difference. Look, we all know over the past couple years how the globalist syndicate has done quite well. Mm, and while middle America, small and medium-sized American-made businesses have suffered while the big box stores have prospered. Many people believe, well, there's, there's nothing you can do about it. I believe there is, folks. I believe there is. That's the good news. We need to vote with our dollars. That is how we make a difference. What if there was a better way, a better way to, to utilize our resources that we have earned to support small and medium sized businesses rather than these big box stores or the globalist syndicate? Look, businesses that do not rely on cargo ships from far off distant lands that are American based businesses are the key. And that is where PatriotSwitch.com gives you and me the ability to help each other rather than continuing to give our money to the big box stores or the, the, the globalist syndicate. If you that's why PatriotSwitch.com was created, to help provide products from family-owned, American-made businesses and companies and provide it to folks like you and me. That's PatriotSwitch.com, PatriotSwitch.com. Right. Because, you know, why don't we just call them the totalitarian games? Why, why don't we? I mean, there's genocide occurring over there in China with the Uyghurs. And every sponsor that's pushing that thing is backing that. Because they're, they're backing that regime. 
And the problem, the problem is, is that we keep focusing on it's a right left thing. No, it's not a conservative versus liberal thing. It's a freedom versus totalitarian thing. And if you don't believe me, look at what's happening up north with the freedom convoy, right? Truck Fudo in hiding is unleashing his totalitarian puppets to take food and water and, and, and fuel away from the people that are legitimately protesting. We have to stop this mistake of saying that this is a political situation. No, that focuses on the division and, the, and so they can divide and conquer further. You have to accurately define your enemy and they are totalitarian thugs. When you define your enemy and your adversary in political terms, you're doing a disservice to what's really going on. You're underestimating what your adversaries are doing, have done, and are capable of doing. They will stop at nothing to strip you of your freedom and your liberty and your life. Fact. And if you don't believe me, go back in the retrospectoscope and just do the last two years. How's that worked out for freedom for you, right? Not very well, has it? But they want you to think, oh, you know, that Fauci, he's, he's political. N no, he's a totalitarian thug monster. Let me give you a little example. And I can't go very deep into this. I'm going to have to use some sign language here, okay? The Fauci equivalent in Europe is a guy named Farrar. He wrote a book. Why did he write the book? Because he knows what's coming. And he wants to be able to say, well, you know, I, I, I was involved, but you know what? I, I wrote that book to give you a heads up to tell you what was really going on because I, you know, so spare me. There's going to be a lot of people saying spare me, including that little thug Fauci down the line. But this time it's Farrar and he writes his book. Burner phones, clandestine, know your enemy. Oh, it's political. They're just, no. Burner phones, clandestine meeting in difficult secrets. Dr. Malone calls out how Fauci and other public health experts, in quotes, thugs, wanting to strip you of your freedoms and liberties and use public health as their Trojan horse of how they were going to do it, covered up crucial information in the beginning of this entire mess over the past two years. During a recent appearance, Dr. Robert Malone discussed how public health experts such as Francis Collins, formerly head of the NIH, and Fauci had worked in secret to hide critical information about at the beginning of this, let's call it a goat road, two-year goat rodeo, including evidence that the actually originated out of that special place where the same place where they're holding the winter olympic games as part of the criminal cover-up that will likely go down as one of the most horrific atrocities ever perpetrated on mankind this is from julian conradson fauci and his associates allegedly used this is according to farrar now who by the way, he felt so bad about this, he decided that this was something nefarious going on. So he told his wife, told his brother, told his friend, saying, hey, if something happens to me, uh, you got to know about this, right? Uh, but he writes about this, that Fauci and his associates, to kind of cover up everything, know your enemy. Well, he's just a little guy and he's a political guy. Stop it. You're playing right into their game. And you'll lose the war if you keep doing it. Fauci and his associates allegedly used burner phones, held clandestine meetings, and kept difficult secrets. Difficult secrets. Can you imagine what that is? Like the truth about everything that I've been telling, and many of us in the independent media have been telling you, and I went on record in 20, January 2020 talking about this, in order to hide their actions from the public. Right. Know what they're capable of.
Let me give you another example. This from the Department of Justice's own website. I went to, to in 2009. Well, you know, a big company, big pharmaceutical, they never do anything to hide the truth and they never do anything to put people in jeopardy. And, okay. From the Department of Justice's own website, September 2nd, 2009. Justice Department announces largest healthcare fraud settlement in its history. Pfizer, what does that name sound familiar? Huh? Pfizer to pay $2.3 billion. Really? For what? For fraudulent marketing. Know your enemy. Because if you keep calling this political, you are underselling what these, what these thugs are capable of. American pharmaceutical giant Pfizer and its subsidiary, Pharmacia and Upjohn, have agreed to pay $2.3 billion, the largest health care fraud settlement in the history of the Department of Justice, to resolve criminal, criminal and civil liability arising from the illegal promotion of certain pharmaceutical products. You think? This is 2009. It's 2021, 2022. It's deja vu all over again, isn't it? With their, right. Illegal promotion of certain pharmaceutical products. And remember what came out in 2020, right? From whistleblowers who said that the data that was presented to the FDA on their, to get the experimental use was fraudulent. Oh, there's that word again. Huh, know your enemy. And then we had the recent release where, remember Pfizer had data with the FDA that they, right after they released this, this time, right? That showed huge, huge problems that they hid, that they tried to get blocked for 75 years. And a judge said, uh-uh. Yeah. And that was after they released their product. And now, as I mentioned in the radio show that I can't mention here, Department of Defense is now covering up information that they had. But that's political. No, it's not political. It's totalitarian thugs who are intent in stripping you of your freedom your liberty, your future, your country, and your life. Fact. Get it straight. Know your enemy. Know what your enemy is capable of. Know what your enemy has done, is doing, and has the potential to do. And then it really clarifies the significance of what those truckers are doing in Canada and what millions of people in Canada are doing to support that movement and what is happening now with truckers in Europe, in Australia, in the United States. Yeah. What happened? An awakening. An awakening that's going to sweep the world even more so and you can make it happen quicker by telling anyone and everyone you know that this is not political this is about totalitarianism this is about freedom versus oppression the same lesson this guy got in 1988 that i've been trying to tell people about since then take this information Take this video and network it to anyone you know and love. The more people educated with the truth, the more people that become empowered. And the more people that become empowered, the sooner we end this reign of terror by these totalitarian thugs, our adversaries. I thank you for joining me today. We are available 24-7 at DaveJanda.com. The radio show is live and it's free every Sunday from 2 to 5 Eastern. If you want the podcast, yeah, it's easy. 
uh, DaveJanda.com, available on the subscription side, along with our other shows. The radio show you can stream live at DaveJanda.com every Sunday from 2 to 5 Eastern. Until next time, Dave Janda signing off. Dream big, dare to fail. Thanks for your time today.